Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd pick up the camera today because I actually don't have any plans and I feel like when I spend the day with you guys, I'm more productive, I get more done. So I thought we could do that. It is currently Wednesday morning at nine o'clock, exactly nine o'clock. There we go, wow. <laughs> and I am heading out for my morning run. I think I briefly mentioned on my Instagram story but I have started a program, like I am being programmed by a coach who is specifically training me for high rocks, which is scary, but also very exciting. Um, and also I feel like, sorry, but the weather today, if I was not on a program, there is not a chance in hell I would be going out for my morning run. It's so windy. It's actually just stopped chucking it down to be fair. So I don't know if I'm gonna need this jacket. I'll keep it on anyway, because the weather at the minute is constantly raining. So it will most likely pour it down on me. Yeah, I've started a program, which is super exciting. It's someone that used to program me when I was in the army as well and helped me pass like my PTI course and helped me pass loads of other things. So someone that I really trust and someone that I know whose work will help me improve. This is not me necessarily saying that I am high rocks through and through, like I'm never going to do anything else. Like I most likely will want to try something else you know maybe next year but seeing as Danny and I qualified for the world champs and I've got a few single events coming up I definitely need to be programmed because what I was doing was fine but it wasn't very high rock specific like me going to the gym and doing keeping pull-ups and stuff like I don't need to do that stuff so he's got me doing a lot of zone 2 easy running at the minute so that's what I'm off to do this morning I've actually got two sessions today because I told him that Wednesday was my free day this is today so this morning I've got my 30 minute easy run and then again this evening quite an easy session so a good day for an easy session nothing too intense I've mentioned to you guys before that I've got a really really high heart rate like as soon as I go out the door for a run I'm honestly hitting like 180 for my heart rate which is not acceptable so I'm going to go out this morning and do a 30 minute easy run I am going to put this hat on because if it does rain um then at least it's not going to go in my eyes also I've got my hair extensions out oh my god I'll talk to you about that when I'm back properly but I'm going to head out now I will speak to you when I'm back from my run and we're going to have a lovely day together we're going to have a cozy day everyone's apparently decorating for autumn like I didn't know that was a thing I didn't know we decorated for autumn but I'm kind of here for it, I'm kind of not. I feel like we're gonna have to do it, aren't we? Like, I don't know anyone that's not decorating for autumn, so I need to jump on that trend. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really do apologize for the current appearance, but I feel like you guys are kind of used to it. I will speak to you back for my run, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I am just hopping on here very quickly to interrupt this video, just for a few minutes to show you some incredible pieces that I have kindly been sent by Abbott Lyon. They are kindly sponsoring this part of the video. Obsessed doesn't even come close. I put a few stories on and so many of you told me that you ordered some pieces and you use my code, which is super exciting, but I'm gonna show you them again, up close and personal. Now, I feel like with Abbott Lyon, it's such a staple piece of jewelry. Like, it's just such a go-to website if you wanna gift someone a piece of jewelry, if you wanna treat yourself, if you just pass your exams, you wanna get yourself a little treat, you've got Christmas coming up. Honestly, if you are unsure, Guys and girls out there, what to get someone for Christmas? Let's have a look at their website because the amount of stuff you can get there. Also, the fact that you can get pretty much every item on there personalized is ridiculous. Like, I am a sucker for something personalized. Like, I have actually got Danny a few personalized bits for Christmas and for his birthday already, but we won't delve too much into that. Now, I did have all the packaging for the beautiful pieces that they sent me, but I was so impulsive and I wanted to get it all out and have a look at it that I obviously don't have the packaging anymore because like I don't keep the packaging for lovely items of jewelry that I want to wear all the time. But I do have this one box and then in here, oh, this is, I think this is up there with my favorite piece of jewelry. This is sort of how they come packaged. I can't really show you, but the packaging for this is like a whole thing in itself. It's such a beautiful gift to someone. Um, the necklace has sort of come like this. Let me just show you this one because I really do think this is my favorite and you guys will probably know why. I love a dupe, sorry, I do. I'm not ashamed to say it. You guys know I quite like a dupe. Um, but this, oh, wrong way around. This necklace, goodness me. Like, let's just take a whole minute to appreciate this necklace. Stunning. To match with it, even better. I can't cope. This gorgeous bracelet. Sorry, and look at the, look at what's on it, guys. Look at what's on it. My name's on it. You can get whatever you want in here, obviously, but like my name's short enough just to be able to get the whole thing on there. And you can like personalize it for the amount of clovers that you want. Oh, honestly, this for me, like if I received something like this for Christmas, this and like the necklace, I'd be so buzzing. I'm just gonna pop this on now actually because I love it so much. Also just to top this bracelet off even more, it's got like one of these 
pulley things so you don't even need to like faff with doing up I could just tighten like that I love this so much that is probably a big selling point for me actually on bracelets like this the necklace I've got on currently is also another personal favorite of mine it just says my name I feel like this is really cool at the minute like everyone's getting their names on things everyone's getting things personalized you could get like your star sign you could just get someone's initials you could get like anything on here so I think that's super special but adding to the list of great things about it is it's waterproof I am not one for taking my jewelry off in the shower like it's just it's just not for me. It's too much faff. Um, so I do keep my jewellery on the shower, I'm not going to lie. I feel like all their items, I just have so much trust that they're going to be unreal quality, like unmatched quality. They're going to last me for years. I really am. Sorry, I'm a sucker for this sort of like tie-up bracelet. This is another one that I've got with my initials on it. Like so, can you see that? How cute is that? I'll just show you a couple more pieces that I've got, some of my favourite bits. For a more chunky necklace, like if you wanted a bit more of a statement necklace, there is this one that I've also got. So it's more like a gold chain. But then again, you can get like something personalized here. Told you guys, I really am a sucker for something personalized. It won't be ZH for long. I'll actually be ZR. Oh. And then I got lots of messages about this gorgeous, gorgeous bangle. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Like, you can obviously also get these pieces in silver. Like I am just more of a gold jewelry person. My engagement rings gold. A lot of my earrings like up here are gold. These earrings I've got and I can't remember if I mentioned that. They're also Abbott Lyon but these are like I'd say like an everyday earring. I actually do keep these on when I go to the gym as well. Like you can wear these to the office. You can wear them on a night out. Like I literally wear them in the gym. They're just a very versatile earring. Like they just go with everything. Great size, not too big, not too small. I think I have shown you all the pieces of jewelry that I've got, all like the recent bits. Anyway, I've got other bits, but they're all a bit older. And I just wanted to show you the new bits I've got. But let's talk about this bag. How gorgeous is that? Obviously personalised, yes, I know. Again, another great gift, such a daily bag. My mum came around, she was like, um, can I have it? I was like, it's got my name on it, but like, I can get you one. It's such a gorgeous idea for a Christmas present for like someone in your family, your mum, your auntie. I think you could literally be wearing anything, but as long as you've got like a few nice pieces of jewellery on, it really just brings the outfit out a little bit more. Makes you look a little bit more fancy. I'll put a QR code on the screen. If you scan this QR code, you'll go straight to a page where like all my favourite products are. So you don't even need to like faff with finding them on the website. They're all literally in one place for you. I also have a discount code. You can get 30% off with the code ZOE30. I will leave all the information on the screen for you as well. But yeah, thank you so much Abbott Lion for working with me. I love you guys so much. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. I'll leave all the information in the description box down below also. And let's crack on with the rest of the video. Oh guys, oh, I have never wanted a run to end so much in my entire life. I had to keep stopping and I was running so slowly, I think. I did it faster this morning. I have mentioned to you guys before that I'm not very good at running on an empty stomach. So I was really hungry and really thirsty. I had to stop at a coffee shop and ask for a glass of tap water. Oh, gross. And also, yeah, it's raining, but it's really warm. So I was really, really hot in this jacket. Wow. I cannot wait for breakfast. Oh my goodness. Especially the breakfast I'm making at the minute. It is sensational. I am going to get a shower. Ugh. I don't know whether to wash my hair or not because I'm training tonight. I might just sleek it back and put a hair mask in it, I think. Oh God, I feel so sticky and gross. Now nah, my stomach's actually empty. I feel like it's sinking in. Oh, I'm only running like nine 40 minute miles. Oh my God, also I was listening to, <laughs> I've been starting to listen to podcasts on my runs at the minute. I listened today to um, Mandy and Anna um, Anna who was on Love Island and Molly series and their podcast is called Sisters in the City hilarious they're actually so funny and like I see sometimes clips pop up of them on TikTok they're actually hilarious so that was keeping me entertained for half an hour um but yeah I am gonna get a shower now yeah I'm not gonna wash my hair I'm just gonna slick it back and then get some nice cozy clothes on make my breakfast and then we'll head out and do some shopping Okay, in the same spot, but looking ever so slightly more presentable. Hair is not looking more presentable, but face is. And I've got on a really comfy jumper from Sisters and Seekers. Honestly, I love their clothes so much. If there was a brand that I could like have continuous clothes from, it would most likely be Sisters and Seekers. Because um, the quality is like unmatched. I've um, just got on some leggings and my 
Ugh, but we are gonna make some breakfast. I have never been so hungry ever. I'm like, I'm starting to shake. I've got the shakes a little bit. So let's make some brekkie. You guys know the drill. It's smoothie bowl time, but I'm gonna put some toppings on it and it's gonna look great and it's gonna taste great. I've been making it super thick at the minute, so like hardly putting any water in it. Oh my God, it's so good. The amount of messages, I think that is my most frequently asked question. How do you make your smoothie bowl? Obviously I put it in a previous YouTube video, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to make like a reel or something and put it in my highlights and just direct people there because it's a really, really highly asked question of mine. So I'm gonna make that now and show you it after. Stay till the morning, tell me you want it You know I go on and on, cause you're too important I'm honest, too honest, No, if you touch me I'm gone Look at the colour, no <sighs> Oh god it is so good And then for my toppings, I'm just gonna chop up half a banana and I put some dates on it. That's my new addition to what I've been putting on top. Sometimes I put dates actually in the smoothie bowl, but I found that they didn't blend very well. So I've been putting them as like a little topping and then just half this banana. Honestly, I put this on my story as well. And so many of you were like, oh my God, like how did I not know to like chop the banana up like this? So I just chop up half that banana and pop that all on top. And then these dates I just got from Sainsbury's. I feel like they're really good ones. Like, that's why I've been enjoying them so much. And I chop these up into really, really small bits and then just pop these on top as well. Dates are quite high in calories, um, but they're a really good source of energy. They're quite sugary. They're like good for like a fast release um, source of energy. So, say, like, you're out on a run and you're struggling or you need a quick bit of energy, dates are really good for that and here we have it guys doesn't it look like a bowl of heaven oh, i'm not exaggerating it is the best thing i make ever i will never ever ever get bored of it okay i have had my breakfast sorted myself out just put some little earrings in to head out for the day i am gonna head to b&m i feel like where else do you go when you need to have a little house spruce up maybe primark home you know I feel like primark home i've been hearing quite good things about it um but B&M is calling my name. It's been a while since I did a B&M haul. I want to go and sniff some candles. I potentially want to buy some sort of like dining room table decor, maybe even some new cushions, who knows? But all I know is it's going to be a trolley. It's going to be a trolley day. Is it? I don't, I don't know, you know, because actually at B&M they only do the big trolleys, don't they? They don't do like the small trolleys. They just do like the big like when you go and do a big family food shop trolleys so that might not be sensible but let's head to b &M. we'll have a look what's there have a look at all the cozy autumnal things okay there it is in all its glory i was just thinking i drove past mcdonald's and you know how we call them like the golden arches like i feel like you need the equivalent for a b&m like the blue and orange flag or something <laughs> i don't know but we're here and i'm ready to spend a bit of money right i found the trolleys and oh wait someone's put that in there this one's not actually attached, which is great. So I'm gonna take this one because I didn't have a pound coin anyway. Uh, let's go do some damage. This is always a really bad place to start in B&M because they put the discounts in front of you and like the good offers and it's always the nice smelling stuff. Some more nice smelly stuff wouldn't hurt. Actually, I do need some of these Lenore um, balls to put in your washing, like the scent ones. Oh, that's a bit messed up, don't want that one. Desert Rose, no, but this one. I feel like we can zoom around this food bit pretty quickly. I don't need any food. Oh, actually, I do need some biscuits for my cup of tea in the morning. Um, 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 where are my favourites? Where are my favourites? Guys, they literally don't have the chocolate digestive biscuits. They've only got the dark ones. Am I being blind? They've got the hobnobs. They've got like these coconut ones. Not for me. Um... I just want the chocolate ones of these. Maybe I'll just have to get these. I'm actually gonna have to get these as well because I am running low on dates and I really don't want to run out of them because then my smoothie bowl is ruined. So I'm gonna get these ones. They're only 79p as well, which I think is quite good 
for dates. So I'm gonna get them. I have wanted a new throw for the sofa for so long now. And I feel like this one is really, really good. It's double-sided. Um, oh, do I want that one? Okay, we're doing it. Cushions and throws are being purchased. Guys, we're getting into the business end of things. Here we are. Let's have a little close up look. Um, I'm not too impressed from afar. I feel like it's giving quite Christmas vibes, actually. Like, this is all very Christmassy, isn't it? Uh, Christmas. Oh God, I bought that last year. Oh, I hate it now. Oh, I mean, I could put something like this on the front door. Because that's quite light, isn't it? Is there anything else that's quite light? Um, oh, it's a bit heavier. I've only got like a little hook that I can stick on the door, so something quite light would be good. Guys, this is what I mean when I say decorating for autumn is not a thing. Like, it's actually not a thing. Everything in here is Christmas, like the candles, Christmas. I just picked this up because I thought, oh, it was like pumpkin theme. But it's winter, harvest, Christmas. Like that's... I might actually just have to buy it for the smell alone. Nutmeg and vanilla. Oh my God, that's coming with me. Oh, no, I could eat it. I could actually eat it. Yeah, like I was saying, there is nothing really autumn-y here, like, I mean, this is really cute. I like there's a few autumn bits. These are autumn-y, but other than that, it's all Christmas. Maybe I've missed it. This stuff isn't autumn behind me here, is it? No. I've just found these, and these are actually quite cute. Like, these are definitely pumpkins. Are they? No, they're not pumpkins. Wait, what are they? Acorns. I'm an idiot. Guys, don't judge me. I just thought pumpkins, they're acorns, but these are all to me. I'm gonna get these because they're actually really cute and they are three pound each. I think we have our white company dupe. Like I have a Christmassy white company one that Danny's sister got us um, and I've not lit it because I am really stingy with candles. I Joe Malone ones for honestly ages now and I've just not lit them so this is the perfect little white company dupe which I can definitely light because for six pounds I'm not too bothered to be honest guys I'm kind of over it like I'm not decorating for autumn again this is just silly like I feel like I'm I'm forcing myself to buy all these things because everyone else is doing it because <laughs> everyone else is doing it I mean I'm sure it'll be lovely when I get home wait 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 stop everybody stop we need to look we have an end of an aisle I think I'm gonna buy my first pumpkin. What do we think? Kind of cute, yeah? There's like a little soup pumpkin serving dish as well. Do I need that? Okay, I literally don't need any more bits, so I'm just gonna get the pumpkin. Okay, I'm in safe territory. I'm in a non spending zone territory back in the car i did just nip to boots and got some snacks because i was feeling a little peckish it's nearing on 12 o'clock now so i just picked up um a pink lemonade lucasade i used to be obsessed with these about two years ago like through one summer god i would literally love these so much um i picked up some melon because melon is my favorite favorite fruit and i also just picked up some of these pop chips um so that will time it over until lunch. Let's just have a sip of this. Whoop. Wasn't fizzy as I thought it was gonna be. Mm. Oh, so good. I spent 110 pounds in B&M, which isn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like, but I also picked up like some essentials that I needed as well for the house. I did put a bit of foundation on today for this video. Um, you'll be surprised to hear. The thing is with foundation, I'm wearing light coloured tops like this is a new jumper and I can I feel like I'm already getting like marks around this hoodie like around the hood area which is so annoying and I feel like that happens quite a lot and this considering it's brand new like it's kind of annoying I don't want to wash it after today because I feel like with a hoodie hoodies are only good when they are brand brand new like out of the packet completely like unwashed as soon as you wash a hoodie it loses its like 
heaviness and weightiness. When I went to get my hair extensions out yesterday, I gave Emily my hairdresser the hoodie. And she was like, oh, is this new? And I was like, yeah, how do you know? She was like, it just feels new. Like, you know what I mean? It just feels so new and cosy. And my hair extensions, I got them out yesterday. Um, I did make a little TikTok on it. Um, and to be honest, I can see myself having them out for quite a long time. You guys know I have my hair up all the time unless i'm like actually going out out so like i'm gonna have really quite a long break also why am i roasting in this car there is a home sense over there as well which i was tempted to go to but home sense is quite a bit more expensive than being isn't it so um i steered swiftly away from there i'm gonna have my snacks and then head home and i will do a little haul of what i got oh my god these are so heavy hold on i could i could pick them up when i was standing up but it's sitting down and picking them up we have a B&M haul. We have a mini B&M haul. I'm gonna start off with, do you know what's hilarious? I'm such an idiot. Obviously I bought this throw, it's the softest one. I got home, looked on the sofa, I've already got it. Like how did I not know that? How did I not know that this was the same? I think because this one's so much newer, it looks like clean, it looks cleaner. Whereas this one, like I feel like we've had for so long. Are they the same? Hold on. Yeah, they've got to be, haven't they? I think that one's just been through the wash a few more times. So I've got this Hermes, Hermes, have you? So this blanket, it's a dupe from the Gifted Sisters and the same as these cushions. But I feel like I'm going to put them under my bed for now because I kind of want to rejudge the sofa up a little bit. I've also got this from the Gifted Sisters, which I will be keeping because this is so cute. It's like a little knot cushion. Um, so I've got that throw and then I got these two cushions just to add a little bit of well i say a little bit it's literally a tiny tiny bit of color to the sofa um and they sort of go quite nicely so i've got yeah cute like them i got two of those this one and this one i can go over there and then down to the actual business of what we got um you guys saw me pick up this wreath which i'm gonna hook on the front door it's not the most amazing wreath but i didn't want anything too heavy because um i haven't actually got a proper hook so the only hook i can have is i picked up these if i can get them out kind of annoying because i only needed one and they came in a pack of like 12. <laughs> so i've got some hooks i'm going to find out where i can put them around the house maybe like a good dressing gown hook isn't it so i can definitely our front door's gray as well so i can just hook that like that and, you, and you'll barely be able to see this which is quite good and please about that this was six pounds which i guess is fine for how small it is okay something you guys didn't see me pick up is this little mug i am a sucker for a cup of tea i am a cup of tea snob i love an earl grey to be honest i just like an earl grey like i really would choose an earl grey over a yorkshire tea an english breakfast tea pg tips like earl grey all day every day so i got this little pumpkin 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 mug why was i getting so confused between pumpkins and acorns that was three pounds fifty and then i'll bring out all my candles at once because i got quite a few i love these wooden wick ones um eight pounds quite expensive but this is a really weighty one like it's quite heavy so that's gonna last me all of autumn i also got the restore one five pounds this is my favorite one from b m smells insane more of a christmasy smell this one but so good that's five pounds and then i got this white company dupe one um i don't know if you can see on my table behind me there i've got a white company one but i've just never lit it like i said so i got this one which i can light this little cute pumpkin i just got for decoration there was no price tag on it but i can't imagine it'd been more than like four or five pounds um yeah this is what it looks like acorn little candles these are really cute i might just put these on like either side of the tv i kind of showed you everything in the shop didn't i i put this on my dining room table my kitchen table and then that's pretty much it for decor that's empty then in this bag i just got some digestive biscuits some um of these scent ball things some of the flora for the bathroom i got some AAA batteries because we need them for a remote control that we've got and just those dates. That is everything that I picked up from B&M. My mother's just rung me and I said, guess what I'm filming? She goes, she goes oh, shop with me for autumn. Got it in one, didn't you? There she I is. did. I you love her, you love her haul of- Cozy autumn 
Did you say at the start, go and get yourself a cosy, a cosy cosy? Cuppa. No, because I'm doing a vlog, so it's not a cosy cuppa sort of video. I don't. I keep asking. I've, I've got an autumn wreath, and I don't know when to put it on my door. I I've bought an autumn wreath. My autumn wreath. Let me see. Oh, that's a bit wispy. <laughs> I might, mine, mine's a proper one. I'll have to show you mine. I know. Well, I couldn't get. I couldn't get anything too heavy because. Oh, that's a bit. Well, it's yours, is it? Your door's indoors, so it's not going to blow away. No, I know, mine yeah. Ha mine has to be proper heavy duty. Don't we look the same in what we're wearing? Do you think me and my mum look the same, guys? I think we're literally twins. Take your hand away from your chin. Chin is so annoying. Just look at the camera. Just... Stop being silly. Yeah. Just... What is this? It's a pumpkin. I said that. It's not. It's an acorn. I know, I know, I thought that. I thought that. Oh, I've seen somebody else vlogging with that mark. Oh, really? Oh. That one. Gemma, Gemma Miles, maybe, or somebody oh, Gemma. else. Oh, they're good for your bowels. <laughs> right. Don't forget to move your bowels. Right, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I am just in the process of making some lunch. Nothing too exciting. I've just got some salady bits in there lettuce, tomato, and cucumber. I've got a chicken that I put in the oven a couple of nights ago, so I'm going to have like quite a bit of that and then in the air fryer i've got some potatoes they are just roasting away in there so that is my lunch little chicken and potato salad um i've been enjoying that recently poison sauce is that really weird oh god i bought this unreal poison sauce from aldi this just a little drizzle of that and it's not great but tastes so good um but yeah that is what my lunch is looking like gonna make a coffee quickest and easiest but yummiest lunch i feel like adding potatoes to this really makes it if it was just a chicken salad that's so boring um also how cute i'm really really loving it um but yeah just got some lettuce cucumber tomato roast chicken and some new potatoes that are in the air fryer and hoisin sauce on top i've got my stanley and i'm just gonna chill here for 10 minutes whilst i eat this hey me and my stanley and my well-fed stomach are gonna go round and see Bambi because I miss her. I literally saw her like two days ago and I miss her. So I'm gonna pop round and see her for a bit. My friends actually messaged me who you guys probably know from previous videos, Harriet, who I used to work with up in the army. She's gonna come and visit this evening. She's nearby. So we're gonna go to the Trafford Centre and maybe get some lunch at Wagamama's or something this evening. So I'm super excited for that. Who is it? Who is it? Is it Bambi? One. Do you want to do the other one? Bambi wants to do it. Go on then, you put it on. You put it on. Or shall auntie do it? Do you want auntie to put your little slips on? Oh my gosh, a quick turnaround, back in the car again. I lost track of time. I said to, I'd meet my friend at well no later than six and it's just gone half four and i've somehow got to do an hour on the bike between now and then and get to Trafford center and get to the gym go home now get changed so a super super massive rush bring you to the gym with me i'm literally just going to sit on the bike for an hour it's gonna be very very dull and then i am gonna go straight from the gym to the Trafford center i'm just gonna chuck on a hoodie or something like it's kind of gross but this is just an easy bike so hopefully i won't sweat too much honestly what am I like? I've come to Molly's instead. I've, so I went home and then I came back to Molly's because I thought it'd be quicker to come here and use her Peloton rather than go into Pure Gym, parking up at Pure Gym and using the bike there. So I had my jacket on that I was going to wear at the Trapper Centre. I've got this awful set going on. My trainers on that I'm going to wear to the Trapper Centre. It's like a sauna here. I need to put the aircon on. And also, do you want to know the worst bit about it? I haven't got my watch so it doesn't even count. I feel like saying, I feel like messaging my coach being like, look, I can't get on the bike because I don't have my watch. So you're not going to believe me that I did it. Right, she's actually already got her Peloton shoes clipped in, but she's a size four and I'm a size five. So let's see if these fit. Okay, I've got one foot in. Whoa, this is wobbly. I've only been on this Peloton once before. And let's get this other foot in. Let's just stop pedaling. Let's just stop pedaling. Oh, wait, is this even going to be turned on? Cheers to save the day, because I can't get it to work. I'm in a trance, I'm so tired. Ready? I've tried. I held it down for like 20 seconds. Okay. Hang on. Give me a minute, everyone. Thank you. I mean, this is fine, but God, it's, my legs are having to really work on this. 
Oh, oh so thanks. I'm so tired. It's okay. Have a relax for a couple of hours. This is great vibes in here. Good tunes. Okay, I mean, it was a good effort to get this working, but couldn't do it. Um, so gossip going instead. I mean, to be fair, I know what I would rather. Um, just a nice, easy hour. You know when you say to yourself, God, that was a massive rush. I'm never going to let myself get into that sort of rush again. Like, it's so stressful. Like, I say that, but I continue to get myself into a rush. Like, that doesn't really make sense. That was the biggest and quickest turnaround ever. I didn't manage an hour on the bike because um, I didn't have time. and I didn't want to keep poor Harriet waiting, who's been here for a while. But I've got to the traffic centre. God, the amount of people I've walked past vlogging right now. I'm a brave girl. I always wonder if Harriet and I will hug when we see each other because we're not huggers, like we don't normally hug. But also it's been a while since we've seen each other, but I still don't think we'll hug. Hilarious, like you're either a hugger or you're not. I'm a hugger with some friends, but me and Harriet were just not huggers. I thought that was her. Really lovely sight coming down these escalators. Really stunning. Looking at all the things I can't afford. Always have to pay a filter, a eh? Little visit, looking cute. I like to make it all neat for uh, stunning. I watched back um, a video the other day of when um, we went to the Lake District, Jimmy, Haley, and Charlie, and everyone walked through the door, and you and I were the only people that didn't hug. <laughs> like, I hugged Haley and I hugged Charlie, and we were just like, hey. <laughs> but here we are. Oh, very excited for this. These are new at Wagon Mama's, the Parge and Peppers. Oh my god, I had these like maybe like six weeks ago with Danny and I've not stopped thinking about them since. Um, they're Harriet's favourite as well, so if you've not had these at Waggers, please get them. Thank you. God, it all comes at you thick and fast in Waggers, doesn't it? <laughs> Harriet's just had a laughing fit at something that I put on my story. <laughs> like, it's in like a laughing fit, she's got pure tears. <laughs> but the couple next to us just moved, like they just got up and, and they asked to move. <laughs> Right, like, like, I thought it was a bit too much. You weren't loud. You're just giggling like a, like a little girl. Yeah, what a good time. No, it was definitely us though. There's nothing else. Definitely not them, is it? Well, that's us in trouble. Anyway, food has gone down a little bit too nicely. Um, cleared every single mouthful. And now I'm gonna go and see what I can buy from the traffic centre. I don't actually need anything. Well, the utter change in this appearance from start to finish of this vlog is just hilarious. We've gone through a mixture of a mixture of looks. I'm back from the traffic centre. It's half ten. We stayed there really, really late. We were just wandering around Selfridges for ages. Honestly, the way I was desperate to spend some money in Selfridges was not normal, but like I just couldn't. I couldn't find anything I wanted. Not, not even in Selfridges. In the whole of the traffic centre, there was nothing that was really catching my eye. A really good example of the whole girl math thing, right? I was looking at this jumper, this Annie Bing jumper, bearing in mind they're £160. You guys know me, £160 on a jumper is unforgivable. It's not something we ever do over here on this channel, but I was considering it. I really, really liked it. I hadn't picked it up, but like I looked at it and I really, really liked it. I sort of walked around for a bit longer and I thought, I can't stop thinking about it, so I'm going to have to go back and get it. Anyway, went back picked it up picked it up and like the collar and the sleeves were like um like ripped kind of like a like a dog had bitten it um but that was like the style it was meant to be anyway decided after 10 minutes of looking at it, actually i didn't like it girl math example right here i just made 160 pounds there does anyone else agree like i fully just made £160 because I didn't buy that jumper that I was adamant that I was going to buy for £160. Really buzzing with that, I've actually come away from the Trafford Centre um, in profit, which, you know, doesn't, doesn't tend to happen all that often. Oh, actually, no, I did spend money at Waggers, but I'm still in profit because I made £160, you know? Also at the Trafford Centre, um, there's this shop called Six Stories. They're like a bridal store. Um, and I nipped in just to have a look at their bridesmaids dresses, just to get some inspo with Harriet. And we were just having a look, looking at colour schemes, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, left the shop. The lovely lady came up to me and handed me this bag. And they said, oh, we've watched you on YouTube. We follow you on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Um, the owner of Six Stories really likes your content. Sorry, I look so disgusting right now. Um, and she said that if you ever popped into the store to make sure that you left with something. So... They've given me <laughs> this lovely little 
hoodie which says bride on it sorry isn't that the nicest thing i mean i don't know if i can wear it now is that like bad luck to wear bridal stuff when you're not actually a bride yet like do i lead it do i wear it in the hendu do i wear it you know in the lead up to it or could i just like put it on cozy on an evening this has brought me very very nicely to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed just spending the day with me it didn't get up to too much actually no I did get up to quite a bit, but it was a nice little day off. I didn't really have any plans. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in another video. Night, guys.